Hello everyone, this is a Stocky here. Welcome to a short Minecraft tutorial video. In today's video, I am going to cover how to create a batch file. This is for Windows users only. I'm not familiar with Mac OS, so sorry I can't help about that. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to create an automated batch script that will back up all of your save games for your Technic or Techit or even your basic vanilla Minecraft. And then it will allow you to Basically, if you ever mess anything up, have a, a save file that you can recover. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new text document because that's pretty much the easiest way to do it in Windows. And then we're going to call it, in this case, we're going to call it Super Backup. The actual name isn't important. What is important is what you do when you, when you change the extension later. But for now, you just right click and say Edit and it will open up in the default editing program and so basically whatever directory that you have this file in you want to create a folder there called saves and so now the text that you want to put in I'm just gonna edit my existing one because it's it's much easier and then I'll kind of explain through the process of what you do with it so this first line is not necessary but if you do the at symbol and then put echo space off what that will allow it to do is it will just stop it displaying the commands that you type in which is useful if you have multiple commands and then the very next line x copy is the command that will start it to copy now this particular bit here is actually quite important the way that it's written what that will do is it will go percent a p p d a t a percent that basically tells windows to go to the the app data folder so if I come up to my Minecraft thing here and I type percent app, hmm, let's try this again. Percent app data percent, and then press enter. You can see it takes you to the location where your Minecraft folder and also where your Technic launcher is. So hopefully I can just go back. Excellent. And so the next bit after that is dot Technic launcher, which is the folder that the Technic Launcher is stall installed in and then Technic SSP so I'll just go that again to show you through what I'm talking about so you got percent APP DATA percent so in Technic Launcher so Technic Launcher at the moment I haven't got anything installed but there would normally be a Technic SSP folder which if I run the launcher you would see that that's there but I'm actually in the process of upgrading to the latest version of the Technic Pack at the moment, the latest development build 6.0.7. So I had to delete my old install. And then after that, there's going to be a saves folder. And by putting those little uh, quotation marks at the beginning and at the end, it tells Windows to just ignore any spaces that are in there when it, when it puts it in. So that, that's pretty important as well. The next thing, so you want to say copy all of the files that are in there and then you have this dot saves and basically what that means is whatever location you run the batch script from, which is in this case on my D drive games Minecraft, it will copy it to the saves folder. And then these flags at the end just tell it to make sure that it copies hidden files, read only files, copy all files and folders because that's important because otherwise it will just copy the files that's in the saves directory which is none because of the way Minecraft saves it and the dash Y means it will overwrite existing files so if I was to run this script at the moment it won't actually work because I haven't got a saves folder there but what we can do is I will demonstrate to you what would normally happen so I'm just going to copy that text because it's going to save me having to type it in again and then go into my super backup file and paste it in and then you say save and then you rename your super backup file and get rid of the txt extension and replace it with bat it's going to give you this little warning you hit yes and now if i run that it says file not found sorry it says file not found and that's because i haven't got techniques installed at the moment but if i was to have that installed it would work let's just check for a second just going to make sure that so there we are. I have my Minecraft installed. So what I can do is I can run 
my Minecraft, no, there we are, my Minecraft backup. So this is pretty much the same thing, but you can see this time I'm using .minecraft instead of .technic. So if I put that particular bit in my super backup file, and then go file, save, this time when I run it, you can see that it does actually work. So there it's copied all of my everything that's in the saves folder and I currently only have a folder in there called New World and it copies everything that's in that folder structure and it also copies the NEI file. <clears throat> now the next thing that you can do is you can set this batch script to do more than just one. So there it's backing up my Minecraft. I can now add in my Technic Launcher Backup like such. And what I could also do if I wanted is I could replace this Technic SSP with Techit. And what that will do is that will also back up any single player saves that you might have when you're playing with Techit. So that just gives you an idea, I hope, just a little quick video on how you can make your own backup batch script so that I find this very useful as an example if I was to upgrade to a new development build and I was to install something that made my world break or cause the game to crash I'll have my saves backed up and you can see that I have quite a lot there backed up and so by having those saves backed up I always know that I can recover my world just in case something bad happens so thank you very much for watching I hope you learned something from this please post some comments if there's anything additional you'd like to see or you'd like any more help uh, thank you very much for watching a stock here